In this tutorial, we're going to share how to install a drain for a Delta bathtub. We've got a lot of great tips, so let's dive in. All right, so we're going to be installing this ever-built cable-driven bathroom drain. We have it in a chrome finish, but it, what's most important is it fits Whirlpool tubs 12 inches to 24 inches. We just installed a 19-inch tub, so you want to make sure when you buy the drain that it, it fits this. Basically, this is kind of fits all tubs for the most part. Typically, a regular... Uh, bathtub is about 13 inches and then uh, your bigger roll pulls get up to about 24 inches All right, so the first step you want to do if you don't since see how long this this actual Bottom drain assembly is first. Let's just cut this Temporarily to just get it down into our space first because we obviously don't need all of this length here how far out our overflow is going to come down so we'll obviously have a, a rubber gasket on here so we want to just give ourselves a little bit of room so we're going to estimate on this on this top drain to basically have a four inch uh, section out. Now each tub, depending on the size that you have, is going to be different. But we'll cut this at four inches. sure our overflow will fit in that. So that actually looks like that'll work by the time I get my gasket on there. So make sure you have your little slip ring with the, the uh, tapered edge towards the fitting that you're threading on. And then you can slip this on. We're not gonna we're not gonna tighten it all the way. We'll tighten it after we get our assembly put together here. Okay, so what you need is this little nut, and this will crank into our bottom drain assembly. And you do want to put rubber gasket but for right now I'm just going to temporarily thread this in so I can get a better accurate measurement of my overflow. Okay so then you got a ton of room here about six inches of room so there's no reason to to make this tighter, have to fight it. So we'll just go right in the middle and cut our overflow. And that should fit. Okay, so for our rubber flow or our drain assembly, make sure we use this hybrid sealant that is recommended by Delta for it. Okay, and then put it on your actual drain connection to the tub and we'll actually go into the drain make sure all this debris is out of the way
good. And I personally like to put a little bit of sealant around my gasket towards my overflow too. Same on the... So you really just want to really just get this hand tight on a tub like this. As you can see, there's like a lot of flexibility. If you tighten this too much, you'll end up getting that rubber gasket to squeeze out the side. So really just like a little bit past hand tight is about all you can really do on these. But then obviously testing, it's going to make sure that you're not, you don't have any leaks on it. Everything put together and you can tighten these down. And again, these are just hand tightened. And then this is what the drain looks like once it gets installed. Now, here's the deal. On the under underside, you want to make sure that that rubber gasket between the drain piece and the tub doesn't squeeze out. And so that's what we were inspecting there. And then we're just putting the cover over top of the lever. So there's just a screw that kind of holds that in place. And that's a neat little contraption because all you have to do is twist it and it turns the, the drain piece up and down. Okay, and then this little drain, if it doesn't pop up high enough, you can adjust it. And then they just have a setting nut to keep that in place. But this really just slides in there. It's kind of nice. I really like the cable drains because it's very simple. They just slide in and like even if you wanted to drain really quickly, you just pull the thing out and, and let it drain. Um, but you want to kind of adjust this thing to where it obviously stops the water, um, but also pops it up high enough for when you're taking a shower. All right, so that's how we installed the drain for this Delta bathtub. Pretty easy and straightforward. 